Well, howdy world, how you doing? I know there's a lot of people that like wine out there. So today it was time for me to make a new batch because I'm just about empty. I'm gonna show you how I make my own homemade closet wine, I call it. I wish you could smell it. God, it smells good. I ain't lying to you folks, I drink a lot of wine. Cheap, expensive. What I'm about to show you tastes just as good as any wine ever out there, so y'all sit back and enjoy. All right, so you may be wondering why I call it closet wine. Well, this is where I store it so it can ferment in my closet, and it's so easy that you can truly make it in the closet. What you do is get you a cup, you pour you about a cup for a glass, get you a glass, pour you about a glass full, and go ahead and you can drink that. Get all your vitamins and nutrients for the day. That was done. You can use whatever juice you want, as long as it's 100% juice. This is the white grape, and that's the purple grape. Now, you got that part done. The next part's even easier. All you gotta do now, get you a measuring cup, get you some sugar, go ahead and pour you Two cups of sugar into this one. Set that down yonder. Take your two cups of sugar. Pour it inside like so. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use exactly two cups. You can use less or you can use more. But what the sugar does, the more sugar you use, the sweeter it's going to be and the more alcohol content it's going to have. Because once you pour the sugar in here, there's one more finishing move you do to it to make it start the process of breaking your sugar down in the alcohol. And I'll get to that just in a minute. Let me go ahead and put the other two cups of sugar into the other bottle. All right, now once you have your sugar poured into your bottles, to mix your sugar up, you gotta shake it. You shake it a bunch and then you shake it a lot. And then whenever you think you're done shaking it, shake it some more. Make sure you get all your sugar everywhere inside, inside the entire bottle. That way it ain't sitting on the bottom. You just shake the hell out of it, by God. Let that set a minute, grab this bottle, and you shake it too. The more you shake it, the better it is. Shake, baby, shake. Now look, do not do this if you're not old enough to consume alcohol. I ain't getting in trouble for showing none of y'all how to do this. This is for people who is the legal age to drink. You shake it, you shake it, and you shake it. Now you got your, your juice with your sugar in it all shook up. All you need to do now is get you some yeast. You just, they actually make some type of wine yeast, I've heard. But I've always used bread yeast, and it doesn't take but just a little dab. And you go ahead, you take your yeast, and you pour it right into there. It doesn't take but maybe a teaspoon. Don't take a lot of yeast at all. And what happens, once the yeast gets in there, I'll show you in a minute, it don't take long. It actually starts basically breaking down your sugar in the alcohol. So we'll let this sit here in a few minutes. I'll come back in maybe 30 minutes and show you that there will already be bubbles start bubbling and fermenting the sugar down in the alcohol. And whenever you put your lid on, this is the important part. Don't, don't tighten your lid up like that. Take and just tighten it up until you can kind of just cap it off or nothing's going to get into it. No bugs are going to get into it. But it's just enough room left that it's going to push the pressure out of the bottle, out of the of it. Because if you don't do it correctly, you'll come into your closet and your bottle will be blew up and there will be fermented grapefruit juice everywhere. So I'm going to let this set for a little while and I'll come back and show you. You can actually see the bubbles start fermenting within, usually I would say within 30 minutes. And then I'll explain to you what to do from there. 
Alrighty, folks, it's been about 30 minutes. I haven't touched the bottle. You look up here at the top, you start seeing that it's already starting to make bubbles. You can see that it's some stuff moving in there. It's already breaking it down in the alcohol. And I'm telling y'all, folks, this may seem simple. It may seem like I'm crazy. But this is the best tasting wine I've ever drank in my life. I usually let it sit here for about 18 to 21 days. Give it a shot. It's cheap to try. You can do the whole thing for a few bucks. Just uh, the biggest thing, whenever you put your lid on, make sure that it is not tight because I promise you, it will blow up. I've had it blow my lid off and I've had grape juice and wine all over the damn closet before. But uh, I'm telling you, give this a shot. If you like wine or if you've never liked wine before, give it a shot. I guarantee you, you'll like this. It's a good, I gotta get me a little bit more, one more time. Look at here, this is what it looks like when it's done. Just nice, pretty, pretty wine. Y'all be cool, stay classy. Enjoy yourself some closet wine, love you.